having a Christian education is so important because you're being set up for life. We can teach her things, but then we can send her to school and she's there just as much as she is at home. And she's being taught what we want her to be taught and how we want her to be taught and how we want her to live her life. Like I said, she could get the education anywhere. No matter where she went, she was going to have an education. She was going to get the fundamentals. But it was more important for us for her to have the Christ Foundation and the environment of that where she would be cultured and taken care of and, mm -hmm. and um, led down the path that we wanted for her. And a Christian education is the key component to living this lifestyle of you know, walking with the Lord. That we live on mission, that we're taught um, through the academic process that where things began, uh, where things are going, how to live your life, um, to live your life for Him. Uh, the schools, uh, in general, you know, they they have a tremendous impact on their minds of their children. Uh, but also, we can't forget that it's really important the um, impact on the heart. You know, I'll never forget, it was not too long after he was in Miss Monique's class and he started to sing this song. <laughs> and he said, Mommy, he said, Jesus is in my heart. It just took me off guard because even a two-year-old, you know, was able to feel the Holy Spirit. And um, Christian education is so important because it's more than just learning things. It's about getting the truth. Because I can't imagine being a kid nowadays, uh, just bombarded with so many mixed messages. I mean, media, the, you know, TV, video games, movies. Here at Western, they give them a, a unified message, a message that everybody's on the same page, that's biblical, that's, that's gospel-based. So. I mean, that's just, that's so important because that sets their moral compass for really the rest of their life. You know, what's in this world is temporary and, and um, the salvation that we have in Jesus is eternal and that's important to us. That Brennan is around that and that what he's being taught is aligning with that and, and preparing him to go out into this world. And for us, I mean, isn't that the greatest goal as parents? is to um, have our children walking in the truth, to be following God, to be serving Him someday, regardless of what their ultimate job is, regardless of sports or you know whatever. The ultimate goal as a parent is to prepare them for life and to have them walking you know, with the Lord and serving Him. It starts at the home, but sometimes kids just don't listen to the parents. They need to get that other friend that's ahead of them who says, hey, this is, this is what I've learned. This is really good, this is right. And to listen to other people say it, not just the parent, you know, it, it just gets embedded in their thought process and it makes them better people. I think it's um, important to have other people influ uh, influence our children as well as us that have the same values and the same um, principles to be able to, you know, have somebody else that they can also look up to and. You know, every faculty member, every staff member, just, just the love and the care and the kindness and the humility that they share with those kids, that they are models, uh, they're, they're living a Christ-like model. Uh, he's had the opportunity to play football under a coach that values character over, you know, a one-loss record. Uh, he has a Bible teacher that has just spoken to his heart. Uh, he has... Uh, faculty that have gone with them on mission trips to Uganda, I mean, where can you get that and what's the value of that? I mean, there's no greater joy for us as parents than to know that those types of men and women at Western Christian mentor and love our son and teach him God's Word. Phone calls from teachers that have watched Maya worship and they're just saying what a blessing she is and that's that just warms my heart, you know, as a dad, to see my six-year-old already experiencing that and how much more she can grow, I mean, that's can't put a price tag on that. The fact that the kids are just growing in a very safe environment, it gives us a happy face at the end because we know they're thriving and you know they're around kids who have the same beliefs. You know I love seeing my my kid happy and so we've had the privilege of having two kids go through Western and um, both of them had so many opportunities to do what they love 
and even to do things that they didn't know they were going to love until they tried it. She's flourished here. Like I said, she's been given a lot of opportunities that I don't know if she would have um, in a different environment. It's, it's fun to watch them bring home a great report card. It's also fun to watch them do good in the sports, but it's also awesome to see them enjoy going on a missions trip or go uh, talk about something they did for that day on the serve days they've had at Western and uh, just the joy that that gives them and it, it, it brings joy to our heart to see that also. Just as, as human beings, you know, our default is to be very, very self-centered, um, to care just about ourselves. You take being a teenager and you can magnify that, you know, 10, 20 times. The, the self-centeredness is going away. It's gone. Um, you're starting to see a servant heart uh, be built in her. And I mean, when you talk about bringing joy, that's, that's it. It's neat to see Maya just already witnessing the people and she just has this confidence that, you know, Jesus is her everything. They're empowered by knowing that God loves them. When we drop them off when, and when we pick them up, in that time, we know our kids have been truly blessed. And when they're blessed, we're blessed too. And to me, that is priceless. There is no greater blessing than to have Brennan experience Jesus throughout his day at school. It gives them strength that to fall back, to know that there is always someone with greater power watching over them anytime they need help, and they're gonna need help throughout their lives a lot of times. Knowing that you have that, you know, you have God there with you all the time to rely upon is, is uh, and, and to be able to have that from the very start of, you know, your, your schooling life. I know that she's getting it and she's getting that, uh, you know, that, that God is there and that there is a, a right path. And, and to see that every day at eight years old is unbelievable. If they have that understanding, that knowledge, that faith behind everything, I just can't wait to see what God's gonna do in their lives. And it just makes me overjoyed to even think that they have that within them already. And they still have their whole lives ahead of them. I mean, people say, you know, move mountains, they're definitely gonna do some mountain moving. And I cannot wait to see how God uses them.